All of you, welcome back to the second part of this project. This is where we left in the last video. In the last video, we have completed our entire context management, smart contract, deployment, everything we have done in the last video. In this video, we're going to work on our front end component and we're going to connect those functionality and bring our application live. So this is the index page. This is where we left in the last video. And that's what we're going to start working on. So close this one. And before we start working on the JSX and all the component, let's import a couple of things from React and let's build out this particular index page first and its layout. So we need use state and we need use context. Then we have to do a couple of internal import. We have to import all the components we have built and that's coming from dot dot slash component slash index. And we already imported all the components. So let's do one thing, come back here in the context. And here we have the index. What we're going to do is simply select all of this and simply import. We're going to use few of them, not all of them, but it's better to import all together. And later we're going to simply remove those unused component. So once we have this component, now looks fine. Now we have to import our context. So come back here, let's do import. And this is coming from context slash index in that we have to import our context. We got this, we got the states, we got the component and we got the context. Now we have to come back here and we have to simply import the context functionality we have built. So that's pretty easy. We can come back here. Let's take a variable and it's coming from use context in that we have to simply pass our context. So if you come back here in the context, we have already built all of the functionality. So come back here, go to index and here we have all of this. So simply select all of that. And that's what we're going to simply import and pass into the component. So looks fine. I get some sort of error. Okay. Simply remove this from my batch. Now it looks good. Looks good. We got our context data. Now we have to take a couple of state variable for the models. So let's call it model state and we'll take this use state and we'll call it open add pool so this will allow us to open our add pool component where user can search for the pool addresses then we have to open for the liquidity by default it will be false so these are the two state variable we have and we're going to start working on the gsx let's open up the terminal and let's start the application npm run dev and here the application is started. Click on this localhost 3000 and let me select the MetaMask, provide my password. And all the functionality is working absolutely fine. You can see our MetaMask popped up and there is no issue in that. Now we're gonna start working on our index page. So let's bring this down and we have to start working on it. So first thing we have to take a class and we'll take this C-R-U-M-I-N-A, grid. And here I'm saving it, it's opening up the MetaMask because of the Phantom Wallet. So what I can do, I can simply remove that wallet. So finally I have removed my Phantom Wallet from my browser and I'm not going to have that problem. So make sure to take a div, it will have this particular class called Great C-R-U-M-I-N-A, Cremian. Inside that I will go to take the header component. Once we have the header, let's send a couple of props. So we need the set open at pool. We need the set open liquidity. And we have to take the connect function and we have to take the address. So these are the four props we are sending into our header component. Now we can come back here and we're going to take a div. It will have a class called main content wrapper. Inside that we're going to take our other component. So it's going to be a hero. Inside that we're going to send this transfer native token. So it's going to be an ordinary function. Once the user will transfer the token to the token cell contract, after that, we're going to simply comment it. So let's send this particular function. Now, that's the only thing we have to send here. Now we can come back here. Let's take another component called ICO token. Then we have to take this liquidity history in that we need to get all the data about the liquidity. So we're going to simply call the function called get all liquidity. And that's what we're going to receive. Then we have to take the another component. This is going to be an app component. Then we have to take an analytical component then we have to access component then we have to take the ICO cell and then we have to send the props like token cell which will contain all the information about the token cell ICO contract then we have to take the native token 
in that it will have all the data about the native token which is available for the ICO including the name supply all of that then we have to send the buy function which user can click and buy so these are the three props we are sending and now we have to start working on the dynamic component so before we work dynamic component and this component the user going to open based on the click event so when they will click on the open pool open add liquidity this is the component we're going to open so let's take a dynamic component and that we will say open add pool if it's true then we have to simply open that so we'll take a div and let's close that one it will have a class and the class will be new dash center inside that we have to simply call the component so this one is the add pool and in that we have to send the prop so let's send this set open add pool and we have to send the load token and we have to send this notify error and notify success so these are the props we are sending and the last one is going to be the get pool address so these are the five data we are sending in our add pool component if i turn it on by default it's false. if i make it true it's going to open you can see there it is it's working fine so all the css we have built it's working fine so this is the first dynamic component let's do the same thing for the liquidity so paste here and we have to change this to open all liquidity and change the component name so this one is going to be add liquidity and we have to send the prop so simply remove this one and the prop we're going to send is this create liquidity that's it then we have to get this set open liquidity and these are the true props we are sending so this is our two dynamic prop now we have to take the third one for the loader as well so let's change this to loader and here i'm going to simply call the loader component and we're not going to have any prop in that and at the end we're going to simply call our footer component that's it you can see all the components looks absolutely fine we have no issue in the export and import module everything is perfectly fine and that's the only thing we have to do here in the index page that's the only thing now we're going to start working on each component at a time so these are looks good dynamic component and we have the loader state now the very first component we're going to work on our header section so simply do one thing simply copy the props which we want to send it and get into the header component so this is look good simply copy this one get into the header component and we have to receive this prop so simply remove this one remove this one remove this and remove this and let's wrap this in the bracket that looks good so we got the prop now now we can come back here and let's import a couple of things so we need to import let's import from the index means a component and then we have to simply import our utility function and that's coming from utils slash index so let's import this one is going to be the header icon and this one is the short address so these are the two internal import we have now we can come back here this looks fine now we can start working on the JSX straight away. So let's take a header. It will have a class called header. It will have a ID called site header. Inside that, we'll take a div. It will have a class called container. Inside that, we'll take a div. It will have a class called header content wrapper. Inside that, we'll take an anchor. We want to redirect to the home page and it will have a class called site logo inside that we're going to have the image and this image is coming from the public folder you have all analytical access and ico cell so these are the four we're going to work in the next video so hope this looks good and this is what we're going to work in the next video so that's the only thing from my end hope you guys have enjoyed so far in the next video we're going to start working on our app component and other component which are left. Have a wonderful day.